going to lunch after church service at Hillsong. So we're here to eat brunch at Freeman's on the Lower East Side. Um, we're just waiting to get in. We're really hungry, so hopefully we'll be in in like five minutes. Do you know what kind of food it is? Anybody? It's like American food, but I guess I know that I know that I'm okay. Like <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Blending in. <laughs> It was kind of a long wait outside, but now we're finally sitting inside and it's super cute inside. And now we're just gonna figure out what to order for brunch. It's really yummy though. Grace got this as appetizer. Devils on horseback. Bacon wrapped around uh, dates. And there's probably either blue cheese or an almond inside, or both. cheese stuffed date with bacon wrapped around it and when you first bite into it it surprises you how much blue cheese is in it and it just splurts out and it's like so hot and creamy but it's really good because the outside is chewy and the inside is creamy. So this is Joe back to his shenanigans my ambient lighting and this is his sandwich which is the roast pork and this is Grace's meal. Poached eggs, grits, roasted tomatoes and bread. With and a side of sauce. Side of sauce. Yeah. And this is just because we all too busy Instagramming right now. Skillet eggs with bacon, gruyere, and spinach. This whole production over here. <laughs> oh my gosh, look what's going on behind the scenes. Look at this one standing up. Look at this one holding his light, circling around his head. And then I'm also videotaping. And Grace is the only one super embarrassed at all three of us. I'm hiding in shame. Is the pork juicy? Yeah, it's pretty juicy. And pickled zucchini. Uh, Sounds like a good combo. Did you guys try yours? So good. Yeah? Really cheesy. Ooh, it does look cheesy. <laughs> Someone's doing a little dance. I really like my skillet eggs because it tastes like the French dish um, eggs on cocotte which are just eggs baked in a ramekin with some cream. That's what it tastes like to me. But um, it has Gruyere cheese, salty bacon, and juicy spinach. So it really works well. Super stringy and then the sourdough toast is the perfect dunking vessel for everything. It's hearty but kind of tastes oddly light at the same time. Maybe from all the spinach. And I just love that soft set yolk. That's the best part. Everyone stopping by this colored wall, this painted mural, is a whole wall of a building to take selfies like this. Jessica had to leave us to go meet up another friend. Now we are in Bowery Coffee. It's really small and cute. There's only three tables and like a little bar area. And we ordered the flat whites, which are kind of like cappuccinos with less milk. I wish I had a little piece of chalk So I could show you everywhere I walk I don't know. I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. This is the cleanest. So I look at Joe's and it's like a big hot mess. We're, it's a new day and we're heading out to the Brooklyn Bridge and it's kind of interesting because I've never been there even though I've lived in New York for all that time. It's kind of weird. I don't know why. I guess I never ventured into Brooklyn. So we're going to check that out because we're nearby and then we're going to go meet John and Heather who got married this weekend, our friends, and we're going to meet them for lunch. And then I don't know what else we're going to do but we can't stay here too much later. We got to head back to my parents place in Philly. So. Yeah, that's what's going on for today. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Joe's 
munching on the little tiny petite peak that came with my coffee. It's good though. Really good. <laughs> It's like a little mini pound cake. Bonus. That's his breakfast. This croissant is good. So is the coffee. The coffee is like strong and bold, but it's not bitter. I like it. to walk on the bridge because it's kind of like the same feeling I had when we were in San Francisco and we were walking on the Golden Gate Bridge. It doesn't seem like that fun, but then when you're actually on it, it's really fun because there's like, you get to see all the details up close. This bridge was built in 1875 and then you get to hear all the cars rushing by you and feel the wind in your face and see the water and the city all around you. So it's really nice. Does it feel nice to be in New York again? I like New York. As a visitor, I don't know if I could live here, Why? but I do enjoy it. Uh, it's fun when you're like seeing the sights and feeling the, uh, the hustle and bustle. But when you live here, you're not like enjoying the city. You just always think about work. I don't know, you know. Maybe that's just your experience. I enjoyed the city when I lived here. Yeah, but you're like, that's when you're young and, you know, I was young but like, and spunky back then. Yeah, you're not young and spunky anymore. <laughs> I ain't no spring chicken anymore. It's nice to visit. Special place in my heart for New York, but um, not a long-term thing. It's a nice day to be walking out here, though. Because it's actually a little bit chilly and windy, but it's not that cold. And it's better than being hot, I think. Refreshing. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was the sun out. Yeah. Joe took a really nice picture of the Brooklyn Bridge once at nighttime. Maybe we'll add it to his video. Click. I don't know if you get any cheaper this Right off the Brooklyn Bridge, we decided to be a tourist. a New York magnet. So weird. Now we have two. <laughs> Meeting with the street dancer. <laughs> whoa, 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 don't don't break anything. <laughs> Start to dream 